Good morning, dear students. I Vidya Sagar welcome you all in the e-learning class of modern international school history. I am going to start subject history of standard six, and this is third video lecture on the topic what books and burials tells us. And this is chapter five. Dear students, we have discussed earlier that how the books they were telling us the history. किताबें जो हैं वो हमें किस प्रकार हिस्ट्री को बतलाती थी कि पहले के समय में क्या होता था लाइक वाइज सेम द बुक इज कंपेयर कंपेयर्ड हियर विद द ब्यूरियल्स यानी कि जो आप कह सकते हैं कब्र ओके सो हेयर इन दिस ब्यूरियल्स ए नेम इज कमिंग हेयर लाइक द साइलेंट सैनिटल्स द स्टोरी ऑफ मेगालिट्स बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स द मेकटॉम मेगालिट्स इट मीन्स द बिग stones okay the megaliths mega it means already big and lith it means stones so the term megaliths it means the big stone basically what was happened that the people said the earlier times okay it was basically it was uh, happens during 3000 years ago and at that times whenever any of the person used to be death then those people they used to bury them under the ground and to memorize it they used to keep the a, a circle there okay and they used to place the big stones there so that when they could come there then they could recognize that this is the place where we have buried our uh, relatives and this was the sequential way and the further this this type of things basically it was prevalent in the deccan south india and northeast kashmir okay now <clears throat> the important megalithic sites okay which are uh, given there like some of the megaliths can be seen on the surface also okay it means some part of the megaliths that was seen that buried under the ground and some was seen that was on the surface also now the other megalithic burials were also underground okay sometimes the archaeologist they have find out that there was a circle it means the stones it was placed there in a circle like a structure and while it was placed there then it was founded that they used to uh, buried uh, there okay like the, uh, in these burials you know, some of the common features generally the dead the buried dead with distinctive pots okay uh, it was featured it was featured in the earlier times that those person who were attached to some of the things some of the person then those things or those uh, person it was also buried at that time wherever if they love any animals they also used to bury that animal with them it was the prevailing situation at that time now some of the tools were also found and weapons of iron it was also found with the skeleton now Uh, other things which was found in the burials like the skeleton of horses horse equipments and uh, ornaments which was sto uh, which was of stone and gold it means what type of things uh, this is shows that whenever any of the person used to be there then what was happen here that all the things they used to also placed with them okay now the archaeologist they have found out that the different type of objects which was belong to the dead person as many of the objects it was uh, given in the grave than in another okay now here the archaeologist they have found out that one of the <coughs> skeleton was buried with 33 gold bits and two stone bits four copper bangles and one conch shells what it mean that those person who are prosperous who are rich they are just uh, buried with the precious stones precious metals but those who are uh, comparatively poor than them they were often buried with the pots with the graveyards with the tools 
सो दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग विच वॉज सोन एंड इट ऑल्सो शोज दैट देयर वॉज अ डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन द रिच एंड पुअर ओके सो दिस टाइप ऑफ ब्यूरियल्स दिस ऑल्सो शोज अस दैट वॉच वर द डिफरेंसेज दैट वॉज प्रिवेलिंग इन द सोसाइटी एट दैट टाइम ओके नाउ सम मेगालिट्स इट वॉज ऑल्सो कंटेंट ऑफ मोर देन वन एस्केलेटन लाइक दिस इंडिकेट दैट पीपुल्स दे बिलोंगिंग टू द सेम फैमिली इट मीन्स दैट सेम फैमिली वेन एवर दे बिलोंग टू द सेम फैमिली देन द अदर अदर डेड बॉडीज इट वॉज ऑल्सो ब्यूरिड देयर एंड द बॉडीज ऑफ दोज हु डाइड लेटर वॉज ऑल्सो ब्राउट इन द ग्रेव थ्रू द पॉट होल्स इट मीन्स फर्स्ट द डिग वॉज मेड आउट देयर एंड फर्दर फ्रॉम द साइड द पॉट होल्स वॉज मेड एंड फ्रॉम दैट साइड दे यूज टू मूव इन साइड दैट ग्रेवियर्ड एंड पुट द डेड बॉडीज देयर दिस वॉज द कंटिन्यूअस फॉर्म विच दे यूज टू फॉलो ओके एंड नाउ सम ऑफ द साइन विच दे यूज टू प्लेस इन द ब्यूरियल साइड नाउ you will find out that it was uh, happening before the 3600 and 2700 years ago now the adults they were buried in the ground and laid out straight with the head toward the north today in today's we also do it that whenever any dead body is there we put the head on the north side and leg in the south side okay so this this is the situation and this criteria is followed nowadays also okay so what we can imagine that the ancient time and some of the effect of those things was also prevailing nowadays also like in muslims what we will see that they in today's date they are all they used to also buried their relative dead bodies okay they don't lit the fire and in hindus we what we see that they used to lit the fire and this was also prevailing from the earlier times now one of the man which was also found there with a four legged clay jar courtyard in five roomed house one of the largest house at the south site it means some of the peoples they were also placed with the big houses and the four legged pot okay it means this watch uh, those person they was attached with them and this house also had a granary and the body was placed cross in the leg position see the edge this house was uh, uh, act as a granary uh, granary storage areas but there the dead body was placed there now what the skeletal studies tells us <clears throat> what is tells that the skeleton which belong to the uh, uh, skeleton which belongs to the child from a small size however there was no major differences between the bones of girls and the boy as the bones it will be approximately same but some of the difference found there that the hips okay of the woman okay it means the lower abdomen part of the woman it used to be larger than the men and this usually happens and that's why from these of the uh, circumstances they used to find out the differences between them okay now about 2000 years ago there was the famous physician name charak who wrote the book on medical science charak sahinta okay and there he found that there are 360 bones and nowadays what we used to read that there are 206 bones but they have counted all the bones like the teeth and all cardials all the bones they have counted and that's why they have reached to this figure 360 bones now the occupation which was shown there that they also used to grow wheat barley rice pulses millet peas and sesam bones of number of animals many bearing cut marks that show that they have been used as food as also have been found like the many of the uh, cattles they also used to tame 
उन्हें पालते थे लाइक द बुफेलो गुड शिप हॉर्स एग सांबर स्पॉटेड डियर एंटीलोव हेयर मैंगूज बिसाइड बर्ड्स कोक्राइड क्रैब एंड फिश दिस इज द एविडेंस दैट फ्रूट लाइक बेर आंवला जामुन डेट्स वेराइटी ऑफ फ्रूट वेर कलेक्टेड हेयर एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स वोज दैट द देयर ऑक्यूपेशनल स्ट्रक्चर वॉज ऑल्सो बेटर एंड दे यूज टू ग्रोन दिस टाइप ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थिंग्स फॉर देयर ऑन सर्वाइवल नाउ यू विल फाइंड द एल्स वेयर इट मीन्स उसी समय दुनिया के दूसरे भागों में क्या हो रहा था देयर यू विल फाइंड दैट अराउंड अराउंड थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर से गो इन चाइना दोज पीपल्स सम ऑफ द फॉर्चून टेलर्स जो भविष्य बतलाते थे दे यूज टू राइट्स ओके दे यूज टू राइट ऑन द एनिमल्स बोन्स एंड फर्दर दी इट वर दिस टाइप ऑफ बोन वर नोन एज ऑरिकल बोन्स एंड दे यूज टू प्रिडिक द फ्यूचर ओके दे यू राइट ऑन द बोन्स एंड दे पुट इट इन टू द फायर एंड वेन द बोन इट वॉज क्रैक्ड विद द हिट देन दे यूज टू रीड आउट द टेल फॉर्चून ऑफ द किंग दैट वेदर द क्रॉप विल बी बेटर इन इन दिस ईयर और वेदर द हाउ मच डायनेस्टीज यू विल ऑक्यूपाइड सो दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स इट वॉज ऑल्सो प्रिवेलिंग इन अदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्रीज ओके नाउ some of the mistakes was also happening there but those kings they were basically resides in the big palace and they having the large wealth as well as the decorated bronze vessels also okay however they were did not known about the iron okay dear students read the paragraph and keep watching thank you